Halloween is almost here, so it's time to decide what you're going to be for Halloween. Are you going to a really cool party? Are you going trick-or-treating like me? Hey, you're never too old to go trick-or-treating. So what we're going to look at today is two really cool Mortal Kombat costumes, which I bought from Secret Wishes. Two of the girls who work for me said, hey, pick us up some costumes for that party you're going to have. I said, what kind of costumes do you want? Remember, it's a video game themed costume party. They said, maybe get us something cool like one of those Mortal Kombat costumes that you have in the wardrobe. So I said, if you want one of those, why don't you just take them out of wardrobe and use those? And they said, nah, it might get damaged or hurt or something. All right, that makes sense. So I went and purchased two really cool costumes from Secret Wishes. We have Katana and Melina. These costumes were very affordable and they look really good for the price I paid, but there are some pluses and some minuses to these costumes. Okay, first off, let me tell you what I like about these costumes. They look really good. They were very inexpensive. You can find these for as little as $25 and as much for $75. But they're basically the same costume. They cost a little more if you need one a little bigger, but they are affordable. All right, let's talk about some of the downsides to these costumes. Number one, yeah, they're cool looking, but the rubbery, shiny material that's on them, it can easily rub off or get stuck on things. So pretty much if you wear this to a party once or twice or three times, this costume's going to be shot. But hey, you didn't pay too much for it, so that's okay. Also, these don't come with shoes or boots. They come with a, the leggings that cover over your shoes. And I don't know how well that's going to last. Maybe it's okay for a party, but I wouldn't want to have to wear this all day. It would be uncomfortable, and it might be a pain to keep the leggings from sliding down. And last but not least, you have to have the right body to pull these off. I'm not saying you need to be a super fitness model, but you have to be able to fit in the costume, and the costume has to be able to cover everything up. Although at first glance these costumes look very much the same, there are some really big differences. For instance, these costumes are both size medium, and Katana's shorts are quite a bit bigger than Melina's shorts. So Melina's costume is much more revealing, but I guess that's all right, because if you've ever played Mortal Kombat, in the game, her costume is a lot more revealing even than this, and definitely more revealing than Katana's. But really, either of these costumes, depending where you live, if it's going to be cold, these may not be the right costumes for you because there's not much to them. They are kind of thin, they don't cover up a lot of skin, and you're going to be really cold. And if by some miracle after you wear these to a party, they're still in serviceable condition and looking pretty good, you want to take note on the proper way to store these. I've found the best way to keep these good looking and in serviceable condition is to put them in a small box and put layers of tissue paper between them. At no times do you want any of this shiny outer rubber coating to be touching another piece of shiny rubber outer coating, otherwise it'll stick together, rub off and you'll have some peeling and it'll just look crummy. Alright so there it is, really cool costumes for a really good price, but remember you got to have the body to pull this off. So in other words, I'm not going to fit well in these costumes. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.